The Mickey Mouse Club Hall of Fame. Each week, the Mickey Mouse Club scans the globe, looking for kids who do really cool stuff, and presents them with the club's top honor, the Mickey Award. Our first Hall of Fame honoree has done something that no other young woman has been able to do in more than 35 years. That's right, Dina. Now, she has won the U.S. Junior Ice Skating Championship for both singles and pairs. But what's really neat is she is the first female since 1954 to compete in the World Championships for both events. Here's 17-year-old Christy Yamaguchi on location at the rink where she practices in San Mateo, California with her coach and skating partner. Well, I used to start at 5 a.m., so I have to be up at 4. When I first wake up, I just kind of want to roll back over and go back to sleep, but I know that what I'm getting up and going to do is something that just has to be done to compete at the level that I do. Good. Hands up. Keep them up. I just remember always loving to go out there and perform, wear a cute little costume, you know, and skate to music. I just, I just loved it. Maybe it's my dedication to the sport. I mean, I love skating and love competing, going to competitions and everything. And I just don't mind putting out the work for it. Don't make any noise here. Light. Now soften your knees on this. Good. And stretch. And bend. Good. Get a nice knee bend. Good. Good. And big here. I've missed out on like a normal high school life. Going to football games and you know, stuff like that. But I don't mind you know, making those sacrifices because I feel through skating and I've gained so much more. Christy was the first woman since 1954 to represent the United States in two events at the World Championships. I've been doing single band pairs for about six years now and I just really like doing both. They're both so different. <laughs> Pair skating is probably one of the most dangerous aspects in figure skating. So there have been a few accidents, but nothing too, too major. We probably have more like a brother-sister relationship. I mean, because we've gone through the teen years together. So, um, I mean, we know each other really well and pretty good friends. Yeah, definitely there's life after skating. Hopefully I want to go to college and graduate and have a normal life. <laughs> I know the real her. And she hasn't changed even though she's becoming a star. <laughs> My friends have been great. If anything, they've been very supportive and been pushing me all the way. Our next competitor from the United States of America I get nervous before every competition. You know, you kind of worry about how you're going to look out there, or what's going to happen. I think the crowd's pretty important. I mean, when, if you're out there skating and you could feel them really behind you, then it kind of gives you an extra little burst of energy and you want to skate for them. The Olympics have always been a dream. If you have a dream, I'd say go for it and do all the hard work that it takes to reach that dream because it would all be worth it. Thanks, guys. I love my Mickey. She makes it look so easy. Christy, congratulations on your Mickey Award. Our next Hall of Fame guest actually wrote us a letter asking if we would consider him for our Hall of Fame. He explained he's a composer and sent along a tape of some of his songs. And it was great. Now, before we introduce 15-year-old Matthew Sklar, we'd like you to hear one of his songs. Here's Jennifer singing Tomorrow is Calling. Yeah. Tomorrow is calling. 
to me and you Now we can go back as we start something new Now our lives are changing Not so simple anymore Trouble is how to figure out what we're searching for Just think of all that we've been through together Think of all that we've done hand in hand Remember what we did with one another All good things come again Trouble is how to figure out what we're searching for. Just think of all that we've been together. Think of all that we've done hand in hand. Remember what we did with one another. Great, Jennifer. Really nice song. Thank you. I'd like to introduce the person who wrote this song. Please welcome Matthew Sklar. All right. Matthew. Hi. Hi, Matthew. Hi. So, Matthew, how does it feel to be here to, to hear your song being performed on the Mickey Mouse? Oh, it feels great. Really? Yeah. And you wrote this song for your junior high class. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, my junior high school music teacher. Uh, asked me to write a song about how I felt about graduating and moving on, and um, it's what I came up with, and we performed it a couple times at the end of the year. That's really good. Yeah. Well, let's see, Matthew, how many songs have you written? Oh, uh, about um, 20 or 30, but, um, but this is the first one that's been performed professionally. Really? So how do you go about writing a song? Do you write the lyrics first or the music? Well, it's much e easier to write uh, music to fit lyrics, but just in case a melody pops into my head or something while I'm in school, I usually carry on a notebook with a uh, music pad in it, and I usually just jot things down if they come to me. So, what do you want to do with your music? Well, I'd really like to become a, a composer and arranger of movies and Broadway shows. Well, we hope someday that you'll earn an Oscar for a movie score. But in the meantime, we would like to present you with this Mickey Award. Matthew Sklar, welcome into our Hall of Fame. Thank you. Thank you. 